Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Turna and today I'm gonna film a really like informal video where we just like get ready together. So grab your makeup so we can get ready together. So I went on Instagram and I asked on my story to ask me questions so you guys could get to know me better. So I have quite a few and I'm just gonna go through them as I get ready. So my face is already um, moisturized and ready to go. I mentioned in my last video that I'm at a hotel currently, so I don't have a big mirror. This is all I'm going to be using, like this tiny little Fenty Beauty mirror. It's a good look to me. But anyways, I'm just going to start with some primer. Um, so the first question was, how long does it take usually for you to get ready? So typically on a work day, it takes me about 30 minutes to get ready. That's including like showering brushing my teeth and just getting ready um but when i'm doing my makeup it can take me like two hours to get ready which is kind of a lot but whatever we're girls you know okay i like to double prime so the next primer i'm gonna go in with is the rare beauty primer which got everywhere oh my god look where how much squirted anyways the next question is Sis, tell me your first three steps in your makeup process. So my first steps are typically, you know, my skincare, making sure my skin is nice and prepped. And then I usually do like primer and eyebrows. So those are my first three steps in doing my makeup. Okay, so now we're all, so now we're all primed. I have this little hoopty cup of rosé. So we're just gonna drink that while we do our makeup. So we're all primed, y'all. So now I'm just gonna do my eyebrows. Honestly, I'm just gonna focus on the questions and not telling you guys what I'm using. I'll link everything down below on what's on my face. Okay, so then the next question was mimosas or Bloody Marys? I'm a mimosas type of girl. I don't really like Bloody Marys. To be honest, I don't like tomatoes. Like, I'll have tomato sauce or, like, pico de gallo, but I hate tomatoes. I can't eat them. I've tried. It's just not for me. I don't like them at all. Next question. Pancakes or waffles? This is a hard question because I feel like I love them. Oh, shit, bitch. I love them both. I feel like I typically gravitate towards i don't know what i gravitate towards more i feel like growing up i had pancakes more but now i like prefer a waffle like today i had a waffle you feel me contour versus highlight um i'm a highlighting girl i like to look like a glazed little donut so i'm more into highlights uh next question what do i do for a living Oh my god, people always want to know what I'm doing for a living. Um, I'm not in my career yet. I currently work for Northwell Health. If you don't know what that is, um, it's a health system company. And my official title now is patient care management. But I don't really like to explain where I work because I feel like it's very private to my patients. Like, it's not like your normal work setting. It's more for people who need privacy that's why i don't like to tell people where i work i'm done filling in my eyebrows i just got my eyebrows done so they don't need too much filling in i'm just gonna carve them out now with a little concealer oh my god i brought like so many napkins where are they oh they're right here okay mess uh, the next question is my favorite makeup brand that's a hard question i feel like I use, I dip into like a little bit of everything, so I don't have a favorite makeup brand. Um, some of my favorite brands are recently, oh my god, I hate, I hate this, but like, there's so much stigma around like Huda Beauty and Morphe. I really like both of those brands. Um, I've been gravitating towards those two brands recently and just constantly ordering things, so I would have to say that. <laughs> Now let's just carve out our brows, y'all. Oh my god. It's so hard to talk and do my makeup. I'm not ready for this yet. 
I'm just going for a really simple look. Today. Answer to my favorite makeup brand. Next question is my favorite eyeshadow palette. Honestly, my favorite eyeshadow palettes are from Morphe. I love the Jaclyn Hill first, her volume one palette. Um, and I really love the James Charles palette. Those are probably my favorite two palettes. Typically, when I, when I travel, I'll take those with me now. Because they're just, they have every single color you can think of. You know? I have my purples, my blues, my neutrals, pinks. Like, anything, any type of look I want to do, I have it. You know? So, those are definitely my favorite eyeshadows palettes. Those are my two favorite eyeshadow palettes, not eyeshadows. I'm just gonna prime my lids okay so someone asked me what is something you wish you could tell your teenager self and I wish I could just tell myself to focus on me and not everyone else and like not worry about like friendship and like relationships just worry about myself because at the end of the day for me I'm the person who matters the most you know <sighs> I was just so stupid and like you know like everyone I made dumb mistakes and if I could go back and just tell myself to focus on me, I would do that. I'm just going to blend out my primer. Oh my god, my boyfriend's sleeping in the background. I have a feeling you guys are definitely going to hear him snore because I could hear him lightly snoring right now. So I'm just going to go for a super neutral look today. Um, I just got this Morphe 35 XO palette, so I'm just going to use this and just use some of the neutral shades in here. Bitch, I'm a mess. Anyways. Next question is my biggest fear. So my biggest fear, I feel like, is a very rational fear. My biggest fear is not being able to have kids. Like, I know some people are like, well, that's like a really, like, interesting fear to have because like what the fuck y'all my eyeball is a little dry can you see that anyways um i feel like it's a pretty normal fear to have like you know not being able to have kids i really want to be able to have kids i love kids so much i can't wait to be a mom and like piss my kids off and like let them piss me off because i feel like i was totally built for mom life like whenever me and my friends go out like they can vouch for me i don't get messy they get messy which is fine but i just really enjoy taking care of people and making sure they're okay so i can't wait to do it with like little tiny humans you know Um, a meal I can't live without any meal that has rice in it I pretty much can't live without I love rice that's my favorite food um, I grew up eating a lot of rice so I love rice um, if we're talking about more like a legitimate meal like I don't know like fried chicken and mac and cheese type of meal um, probably like a noodle dish like I love noodles a lot I've always loved them since I was little that's not changed so yeah, noodles, noodle dishes and rice dishes are my absolute favorites. Someone asked me, how do I apply my concealer so it doesn't crease? Like sis, I don't know because I have really fine lines under my eyes. Like they're so freaking fine and anything and everything creases in there. Even like my lotion, like my face lotion will sometimes get in there. Oh my God, like legit right now. Yeah, I'm not, I'm sorry, I don't know. But I've seen a lot of trends on YouTube where a lot of girls are taking, like, setting, setting spray, um, spraying it on their brush just so it's the lightest amount of wet and, like, really pre pressing it under your eye because, you know, when you spray your face, typically it doesn't get right under your eye. It's just on, like, the perimeter. So maybe try that and see if that helps you because I should really do that too. Um, okay, that's all I'm going to do for eyeshadow. I'm just keeping it real simple today. Me and Danny are just going to go to dinner, like I said earlier. And then I'm going to have to come home and take it off. And a bitch don't want to do that. Jamie asked me why I'm so cute. The real question is, why are you so cute?
I really want to do winged eyeliner, but I'm afraid to do it because I don't have a big enough mirror to see if it's going to be even on both sides. So I think I'm going to just skip out on doing it today. Usually when I wear um, eyelashes, I'll put like eyeliner on like this. I don't typically ever wear my eyeliner like this and leave the house, but she's going to do it today. The next question is, what's my favorite shong, shong, song genre? My favorite genre is definitely like R&B. Um, whenever I'm at work, I always play like these R&B playlists or like Spanish music, but but genuinely, um, R&B is my favorite. Oh, bitch, I almost dropped my liquor. Oh my God. What quote had the most impact on you? The quote that had the most impact on me is something that I wish I like understood more in high school, but it's to love yourself first because, you know, we spend so much time worrying about like other people. We forget about us and self-care and just making sure that we're okay. And that's something, you know, I'm still struggling with because I'm always worried about like other people, but I'm still learning to just love myself first. And that is something that has, I think, positively impacted my life. Bitch, this Marc Jacobs concealer is not playing games. I have no eyelashes. And this is just a little tiny coat. Like, I didn't even do it right because I'm about to put on the lashes, but sis. Guys, I can't choose between which eyelashes to wear today. I think I'm going to wear a new one. This one is from like an Instagram brand I saw called Your Lord Lashes. This is what they look like. This is in the star style Morellini's. I don't know. I bought a few lashes from this company, but they're just super duper long. I don't know if I can actually wear them because sometimes I feel like I love dramatic lashes, but when they're up to my eyebrows, it's just it's a little much for me. But these are what those look like. Oh, they're so wispy oh my gosh oh my god y'all we gotta try this let's try this out together these feel like pretty nice they're a little i don't know they feel like eyelash extensions like i don't know how that makes sense okay whatever let's just put it on because i don't even have a scissor to cut it i have my aoa studio um, eyelash glue here. I'm supposed to be answering questions. I'm just here talking about random shit. Look at my eyelash glue. So the next question is, what's your favorite show and movie? My favorite show, hands down, is Friends. My favorite movie, if we're talking like D Disney movie, um, I used to really love The Tigger growing up, um, but now I think it's like The Lion King. Like, that always gets me every single time. I really like Frozen a lot. It like... I always cry. Like, a movie that gets me like that is a good movie. Now, for, like, a regular movie that's not child-related, I don't really have a favorite one. I'm the worst at watching, like, movies. My friends always have to drag me to the movie theaters. Like, I'm so boring. Like, I'll just stay home. And then they have to drag me to the theaters because, you know, I don't like going anywhere. Guys, I think I forgot my eyelash applicators, like the little tweezer thing. I forgot so much stuff, like I can't stand myself. Who influenced you most growing up? Uh, this was, this is a good question. I'm gonna answer who's influencing me now the most because the people who influenced me a lot when I was little, I don't talk to them anymore because they suck and I can't believe I wanted to follow their footsteps. Um, now I would say my mom. Yeah, my mom is such a bad bitch. Like she's the sweetest person I've ever met. Like she gets me so angry sometimes, but you know what? Like even through that, she's the one person that like we get mad at each other, but when we come home, like all is forgiven or like I'll call her and I'll be like, I'm so sorry. And like vice versa, like she's just such a nice person. She's the type of woman that, like, 
she will work 12 hours and if i say i'm hungry she'll come home and like make me something not that i asked her to do that because that's fucked up but like she's just so sweet i used to take um like her home cooked food to work like rice or and whatnot but now i've just been like you know making food for myself uh she would literally wake up early to make me fresh rice like mad early in the morning which is just like how can someone be this generous so i want to be just like her like when i'm older and i have kids like she's such an inspiration and i want to work as hard as she works <sighs> me saying all that stuff with one fucking eyelash on my eye um <laughs> Let me just put the other one on real quick. I'll be back. Guys, these eyelashes are so curly, right? Like, so, so curly. I feel like I could never fly away in these. Like, <sighs> Okay, the next question is, what's your favorite snack? My favorite snack, I have to say, is popcorn. Like, that's something... That when I eat it, I don't feel, like, guilty eating a bunch of it. Like, Skinny Pop or something. I don't feel, like, really guilty eating it. I don't feel like shit after eating it. You know, it's not that bad for you. That's definitely my favorite snack. My go-to. Alright, what are some of my pet peeves? When I hear pet peeves, I think of my boyfriend. Because he literally does so much shit to piss me the fuck off. But the thing is, like, I also do things that piss me off. Like... Sometimes I'm just like, Turna, why don't you pick something up and leave it where it's supposed to be? Like, I'll take a perfume off of my dresser where I have a little, like, tray for my perfumes. And I don't put it back in the right spot. Like, I'll put it, like, next to it. I don't know why I do that. He does shit like that, too, which really irritates my soul. Um, I hate when boys leave the toilet seat up. My bro boyfriend doesn't do that. My brother does. It irritates my soul. I can't stand when people eat my food. Like, I get so fucking mad when someone eats my food like so especially if i was looking forward to it oh my god i get so angry i get so mad when my coffee's wrong like if danny brings me the wrong coffee i get irritated like if you fuck up my coffee you just fucked up my day honestly what else are some of my pet peeves i feel like i have a lot like i'm a complicated person What's your favorite high school memory? So my favorite high school memory is associated with a person. And I'm 100% sure she watches my videos because she shares them and stuff. So I had a best friend in high school, right? Her name was Alana. We're still cool. Um, we're just not as close anymore. You know, life gets in the way. We had like a bit of a falling out. But then we like, you know, we smushed the beef and now we're cool again. We do talk occasionally. Um, like, I have so much love for this girl. But, anyways, when I think of high school, I think of her because we were so freaking close. So, um, a little backstory. We were friends since, like, middle school. So, we used to take college classes in my school. I went to, like, an early college academy school. So, in 12th grade, we used to have breaks in between of our classes. So in between the breaks, we would go to her house because no one would be home. We would go there. We would like, we would have like drinks. We would buy food. We would get like halal food all the time. And like, we would go back to school. It was just so much fun. Like that was the best part of high school to me when we would do shit like that. And I'm like, not for nothing. She was like really sweet, you know? She used to let us come over every, it was just me and like a few other girls. She would let us come over every day. Like, you know, she was someone that made me feel like wanted to be around. Like, you ever feel like some people don't want you around? Like she definitely wanted me to be around, which is so nice. I get nostalgic when I think about it. There was a time in our senior year where everyone was going on like the senior activities trip. We both hated everyone in high school. Like. We ended up hating everyone so much. We didn't go to anything. So, like, we were so bad. We took the money from our parents for these trips. But we would go out with, like, you know, her boyfriend at the time. Oh, my God. We were so bad. Who the fuck let us leave the house? I don't really know. But we would, like, go to hookah lounges and smoke. So bad. I'm just gonna tie my hair back because 
is all up in the way. I hope this eyelash doesn't bother me all night because I'm gonna have to rip it off. I will rip it off. to do like another layer of foundation this is just one layer but like bitch where are you going you're just going to the dinner's not fancy if you're wondering it's just like this cute little mexican spot but it's nothing it's nothing crazy all right y'all i'm gonna just go in with some concealer i have two i have one from hourglass and one from mac so i'm just gonna use those um next question what's the wildest thing you've ever done bitch um mm, there's a few things that i've done that like i look back on and i'm like bitch you crazy i dated someone 10 years older than me earlier this year me and my boyfriend my best friend we went to a bar and i wrecked the bar before leaving because the guy was really racist so that was something really crazy that i did i should do a story time about that oh my god so bad i wouldn't do that now but i was like kind of like you know and he was racist and i just can't stand for that bullshit so that's to defend us next question is how would i describe myself that's a really difficult question that i feel like ask someone um a few things that come to mind about how would i describe myself is someone who is i'm a quick learner i pick up on things quickly like you know i know what's going on like the vibe like, I'm someone who very much now trusts my gut. So, I'm usually always right when it comes to my gut. Especially, like, this year. I don't know what it is. Like, I just know. I just know when something's not right. Um, how else would I describe myself? I think I'm pretty hardworking. Uh, my coworkers could probably attest to that. I think I'm very, very loving. Like, when I love you, I love you. And, like, when it comes down to presence or anything really like i try to be as thoughtful as i can and i just like i feel like i really love the people i love and like you know it's like we're in a relationship forever yeah but i definitely think i'm someone who is a hard lover yeah i just like love too hard okay guys so the next question is and the last i think yeah the next because after that, Layla said, why are you so cute? She's so sweet. I love her. Um, She said, "Why is it, what is it like dating someone from a different culture? Um, it has a lot of ups and downs. It truly does. When it comes down to family is the hardest. Um, you know, I had to get my parents on board. We're just dating. Like, we're not engaged or anything. M me and Danny have been dating for two and a half years. Almost exactly two and a half years. On Thanksgiving it will be so you know he met my family last Christmas and my parents my dad it took him a while to come around my dad's like a very religious Bengali man my mom's like a sweetheart so she like liked him immediately like no you know no pushback nothing my brother when he met him he was very sweet like he loves Danny um, but my dad it took him a while to come around because he's just like a very Muslim man. So culturally, it's been hard. Um, you know, his family, he's Guyanese. His family was pretty welcoming. Um, I don't really talk to them that much. He comes to my house more often, but his family was pretty welcoming. And my family took a little time, but now it's good. Certain things I think about though, and I feel like it's gonna be a little hard in the future, like when we get married, like, Am I going to be able to have that big brown wedding that I've always wanted? I'm not sure. Um, I kind of wanted a big brown wedding in the past. Now I'm just more like, eh, whatever, bitch. Like, who really needs that? Now I'm more worried about, like, buying a house and, like, putting money towards a house instead of having a big wedding because... I, I genuinely don't know if a lot of people will accept him for being someone who's not Muslim and not Bengali. With that being said, 
if they don't i don't care i don't talk to a lot of family members well not real family members family members like fake cousins and shit because they don't like like the way i live and whatnot and i don't give a shit like you know dana's a really good guy my parents love him like i'm not gonna you know i'm not here to please anyone else if that makes sense certain things that get in the way is like oh he doesn't understand some things like about being bengali um and i don't understand a lot of things about being guyanese too but luckily my best friend in high school was guyanese so i learned a lot from her but like there's still a lot he has to learn about being bengali like sometimes he doesn't really get like the more difficult aspects for me like it's hard being a girl and like anyways it's hard to be a brown girl dating like someone out of your culture because like people look at you and they're like oh my god like what is she doing she's like such a brown bad person like i get all these looks and stares in my community and it doesn't bother me but it kind of bothers me it only bothers me like when someone says something about him as opposed to me like you can say whatever you want about me it doesn't faze me but like the minute you bring up my man i'm just like ready to fight claws are out so it's definitely been an emotional roller coaster in that sense like i'm you know figuring out every single day what it's like to really date someone outside of my culture and with that being said i've actually always dated people outside of my culture but no one ever met my family so you know the family is what makes it a little bit harder i really want to make videos about like the struggles of being like a like a brown girl dating you know someone outside of my culture and the things i've gone through to get to where i am but then i get nervous i'm like oh my god what are people gonna say but then i'm like i don't really give a shit you guys let me know if you would like to see that like see what it's like to truly be a brown girl dating like someone outside of your culture and if you guys would be interested in that because i feel like i would be super interested in making that all right you guys so i decided to finish the rest of my makeup off camera because the video is getting super lengthy and i get super distracted when i do my makeup and talk but i hope you guys got to get to know me a little bit better by you know hearing some of these questions answered in the video and you guys got to get ready with me i hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions for me just leave them down below and maybe i, I will do this video again don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and comment, and don't forget to share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!